Hi everyone, it's Tina today and my tutorial that I'd like to share with you today is how I created my art journal um, page for um, November. This is actually probably one of my favorite art journal pages that I've created to date. Um, I really liked how it turned out, um, so I'll walk you through that. So I'm using the art journal that I always use. Um, I already pre-gested the pages that I'm using and I use embossing paste on both pages and my theme here was try to do the good and the bad so I use white embossing paste on the left side and I use the black embossing paste on the right side so this is already uh, has has dried on my page I'm going to go ahead and use the Niji um, watercolors for my um, art journal spread and I'm going to just start applying it um, into each square and I'm going to let the colors really run into each other um, I really like how watercolors work that way and um, I add a lot of water so they do that and I like when it pulls up in the different little pockets on my page too so that's what I'm going to start doing here um, just starting to add the different colors onto um, the right side of my art journal page and I love these watercolors too they have a shimmer to them they're not like the typical watercolors that are um, very flat and, and bright. These are a little more um, subtle in color, but still um, a nice color, but they have that shimmer to them, and when they dry, uh, it looks really nice. And I don't know if you can pick it up in the close-ups that I had, um, or will have on my um, blog post, but um, I in person, it looks uh, wonderful. So there's just a little bit more color on the right side. This kind of moved it ahead, and I'm going to start adding some more. Um, and the other thing too that I really liked about these watercolors is all the colors really um, blended very well together. The yellows and the reds, and the greens and the blues all looked really nice. So now I have the black side um, complete. So now I'm working on the white side, and I just flip my art journal around. It's really hard to tell where the embossing paste is on this white side. Um, it wasn't as apparent as I would have liked it so what I actually do later on in the video is use my white Montana marker and highlight where the raised part of the embossing paste was and the end product you can actually see the outline of the grid on that side of the art journal page this grid stencil was actually really nice I liked it because it, it contained the paint in each little square so it let the color blend within that square um, but if it went over the edge that was okay too I didn't mind that but I really liked that grid stencil um, that stencil probably will be used in more projects in the future uh, I did have some in the store I don't know um, when this video posts if those stencils are still available but um, I did have some at the beginning of the month So I'm just adding more color onto the white side of my page. I'm just giving it a zap with my heat gun just to make sure that watercolor is dry before I start using um, the other uh, paints. The other thing that I wanted to do is, um, again, to the whole good-bad theme, I wanted the black side to be darker. So I'm just using some of the black watercolor paint and going around the edge of that and wiping it right off. Um, it's not dark, dark when the paint goes on, but it does create a darker color than on the left side, just again to create that um, visual between the white and the black on my art journal page. So now what I'm going to do, again, to try to make those grid lines stand out, before I use the Montana marker, I'm actually taking some of the black watercolor paint, and I know this is the white side of the page, but I wanted to get some depth to that. So I'm just outlining it really lightly where those um, grid lines are and then wiping it off right away. So you can already see on the left side that it started to add some dimension to that um, white side of my spread. So now I'm going to use my Montana marker and I love these things. Um, I bought almost every color of them out there and I used them on my art journal coloring pages this month too. 
but I'm just going to go ahead and start outlining on top of that embossing paste and it highlights it white. Um, when I did it the first time I actually had to go back and just added another layer because it wasn't as white as I wanted it but after I did that then it that white really popped off that page. So then what I did was type out um, some good traits of myself and some bad traits of myself and it was kind of hard to really, or not hard, but um, challenging to actually type those bad things down. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply those um, sentences on both sides of my page with some matte medium. And then I also cut little squares of dictionary paper again just to add a little bit of more visual um, interest to the page on top of the watercolor paints. And then I put my title in there, The Good, Bad, and Ugly, and that was it for my art journal page. So I hope you enjoyed my video today, and thanks for stopping by.